Hey, Alicia here from Terra Drift, and I'd like to welcome you to my pack rack. <laughs> uh, these are most of the packs that we currently have right now. Not all of them, I don't think. Um, yes, it is a copious amount of backpacks. <laughs> Possibly an unnecessary amount of backpacks. Uh, I think if you were to name a group of backpacks, like you name a group of animals, you could go with an unnecessary. This is an unnecessary of backpacks. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing about backpacks, and um, I do love backpacks, is that each one has such a perfect use case scenario <laughs> that it's so hard to let them go because each one is perfect for something different um and so i just wanted to like loosely chat about some of our favorite packs um mostly when we're talking about travel here um because of course full-on backpacking packs which is most of these up here um, are very individual and uh, depend on the type of backpacking you do. Um, a lot of them obviously are ultra light. <laughs> um, those are mine. <laughs> uh, the non ultra light ones are mostly Josh's. Uh, and we, we do individual reviews of a lot of backpacking backpacks. But when it comes to travel, which we do a lot of, um, we absolutely have our favorites. So we just wanted to like dive into this nonsense rack here. That's also, <laughs> might I add, beautifully colorful. Um, also, do you like my bunny slippers? I'm just gonna go ahead and just point them out because they're bound to show up in a shot somewhere. <laughs> and I forgot to take them off. So these are my bunnies. Um, <laughs> So anyway, like when we're talking about travel, there are so many different types of travel that we do. Um, and when we're talking like international travel, we're going to go to several destinations um, and like hop around a lot, maybe take a couple of trains, planes, buses, automobiles, whatever. We're kind of, you know, touching multiple different cities or countries on the way. Um, and there's a lot of transportation involved. Uh, mostly what I want is something that can go on my pack instead of something I drag behind me because that takes up a lot of space. Um, it doesn't fit in small spaces as well. They're too big to bring on budget airlines um, without having to pay extra for them. And when you're talking about Europe when there are cobblestone streets everywhere, they're just awful to have to drag <laughs> over what is essentially brick. It's just terrible. So I love a backpack. I prefer it really when I'm doing that sort of travel. And for that, um, I always go for my Code Epoxy Alpa. Um, and this is from the Del Dia line. So this is all like repurposed fabric from like cutoffs and things, hence the wild colors. And I actually love that because I know that it's my pack and not somebody else's pack because uh, no one else will have a pack exactly like this one. Um, and they come in multiple sizes now. This is the 35, uh, but I think there's also a 40 and then a, maybe a 28. Uh, so you can kind of pick and choose based on how long you're going. But I will use just this pack for traveling light uh, for several weeks of like international travel and adventures. It's also great for road trips um, because it opens like a butterfly style. We did a whole review of these packs, so we'll link to that below. But this is my favorite pack for that because it's so organized on the inside. I just, I love it. So this is, this is a great one. This is a great one. Plus I love all the handles so you can just like throw it around um, whichever direction you have to grab it. Uh, fave. Now, if we're talking about travel, that's mostly I'm going to be in cities, um, but might also be doing some day hikes and that sort of thing, you know, moderate. Uh, in that case, I don't want to look too touristy. Um, I don't want to be carrying around like a massive outdoorsy type backpack most of the time. If I'm, if I'm going to be in a stylish European city or um, frankly, even in like a, a modern urban oasis, you know, like from going to New York City or something like that. Um, I don't really want to be carrying around a very highly technical day pack. So my favorite that I, I just got this year and tested out um, is this Rover from Topo Designs, uh, which is really simple, but has just enough pockets. It has water bottle pockets, an absolute 
necessity. Um, it's brightly colored, which I love. It comes in so many colors, which is so cool. Uh, a note on this one, if you are vegan like uh, we are, is that some of these Rover styles do have leather patches. And I think that's the specifically the canvas Rover. So if that's of concern to you, uh, make sure you double check uh, before you buy that it's a fabric patch here and not a leather. Um, but I love this pack because it's, it's a little more, <laughs> maybe not the yellow, but it's subdued. It looks awesome in photos because of its bright color. It's very classic style. And frankly, I think it looks just as home in cities as it does, um, you know, on a, on an easy day hike. So this is a great one and I love it for when I'm doing mostly city stuff, but want to carry around um, a camera and jackets and extra layers in my passport and stuff like that. Um, but also might be hitting some trails, you know, at some point, because it's just as comfortable. Now, if I am mostly doing hiking, um, I will probably bring <laughs> my overpriced Jack Wolfskin here. Um, what's this one called again? I don't know. We'll, we'll put it up on the screen. It'll be here. <laughs> uh, we reviewed this one, so we'll put a link to that as well. I love this pack because it's super lightweight. It, it packs down very flat. If I'm traveling with this in another piece of luggage, it's highly functional. It's very comfortable. Um, it has that hip pocket and the water bottle pockets and, and enough storage and zippers and attachment points that it's, it's perfectly functional while still being super streamlined and simple. Um, like I said, this one is obnoxiously expensive uh, because of the, the 3D printed back panels. And again, we'll link the full review in the description below. But um, it is a very sustainably made backpack, which I love. Uh, the price point is not gonna be for everybody. It's not gonna be for most people. Um, but this, I do really like this pack for just how simple and, and easy it is. Um, so if I'm, if I'm traveling to do like more intense, longer hikes, this one might be the one that I bring, especially if I'm going to be um, just traveling around the States, you know, with a, an extra day pack for a mostly hiking trip. Now, if I'm not planning to do as much hiking, <laughs> I know, right? Why would I not want to like hike and mountain bike and stuff when I'm traveling? But if I'm not, which occasionally happens um or it's a it's more of a work trip than um a play trip where i might be doing some hiking but i'm definitely going to either be bringing uh, my laptop possibly cameras and uh, some clothes I, I will probably grab my um peak designs travel backpack which i love because it's got that luggage pass through so this could be um your carry-on uh, slash personal item the the straps tuck away there's a nice zipper compartment just for your laptop it's got accessory pockets and the inside is so nice and rectangular the packing cubes fit so well in here so whether i'm bringing camera equipment uh which can go in the cubes or in, you know, a different sort of camera bag inside here, or I'm just filling it with clothing um, in the Peak Design packing cubes. Those are like my favorite packing cubes. I freaking love them. Um, but this is great, especially for like a week long trip or a weekend trip where I'm not going to bring a ton of clothes or gear, but I still need the essentials. Um, plus I can go hiking with it. It's a little big and bulky for me because I'm a tiny human, but, um, this is a great pack and I really like it for, for more worky style travel. Um, you see what I mean though? There's a bag that's perfect for everything. <laughs> so I have to have them all. Now, my most recent favorite, which we did review at one point and I kind of, I think, gave it sort of a lackluster review because I was just taking it day hiking and I, it didn't really, see the the value in it but i recently took the waymark mile um backpack to austria and that was my like carry-on style backpack that i used for when we were hopping from place to place uh it contained like my clothes and stuff but also the pack that i used when we hiked like the arlberg trail um and did a lot of day hiking in germany and switzerland um i used it I used it when we were mountain biking. Uh, both of these Waymark packs are gonna fall. This one's, slight, this one's slightly bigger. Uh, this is the mile and um, it's a little heavier 
than this ultralight version, whose name I also forget, and we will put it below. Uh, <laughs> this one is, I think, a 35 liter, um, and this one is a 25 or 28. Um, they're both excellent, but I took this one and loved it because not only is it super low profile and packs almost, I mean, entirely flat if you have to put this inside another duffel bag or um, something like that, but uh, the, it's available in several different colors that just um, really look nice in photos uh, if you're into that. Um, also, <laughs> it kind of matches my, my outdoor research hiking tights. <laughs> But we'll review those soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But yeah, this, this folds flat. Um, it took up zero room in my bag, and when I took it out you know, to, to fill it with stuff, I would put my camera in here, extra layers. Um, if it's not completely full, you can kind of roll it up really tight and cinch it down, which is nice, uh, but it still offered plenty of room to put another camera bag in there and um, everything you need for a nice long intense day hike um, plus more uh, has plenty of pockets which I love um, nice big ones that are easy to slide a water bottle into uh, when you're hiking <laughs> which is really nice um, so yeah I I finally found the perfect use for this bag and now I love it um, and I don't think you could pry it from my cold dead fingers also it's ultra light I mean, there are obviously plenty more bags that we've tested and reviewed as far as like duffels go. Um, I love having a good duffel. We've reviewed the, the Code Epoxy duffel and uh, the Patagonia Black Hole. Um, those are great just to have to carry. They have the convertible backpack straps, but also for putting backpacks into if you are flying somewhere to go backpacking. Um, that way you can protect the, like, the delicate fabric of your backpacks and all the straps. Um, and toggles and buckles and things like that um, and still carry all your stuff with you so really handy and I, I, of course I love a good a good hip pack but um, we've we've sort of reviewed a bunch of those and if you want to see that one <laughs> we'll drop that link in the description below as well <laughs> but yeah this one in particular not a hip pack it's a sling but the hydro flask one um, because it has that nice big water bottle pocket and it's just big enough for like some essentials, your phone, your passport. Um, it's black and low profile, so you can carry it around the city and not feel like you're a tourist, I guess. Um, <laughs> you just kind of blend in with the crowd, which, which is nice. And Josh especially loves this one um, when we travel and are gonna be exploring you know, urban areas. Those are some of our favorite packs. Those are the backpacks we turn to first when we are traveling. Um, they all have some sort of strong sustainability angle um, and the, the brands are responsible manufacturers. Plus, and maybe more importantly, when you're choosing a pack, they're functional, you know? So um, that's, yeah, just kind of wanted to show you some of my favorites from the pack rack. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions about any of those or another one you saw up here that you were like, hey, but what about that one? Uh, drop a question in the comments and we'll answer it. It'll be great. We'll have a nice discussion about backpacks. Um, especially if you're as pack obsessed as I am. I'll talk all day about backpacks. Let's do it. Anyway, you know, like make sure to like, share and subscribe. Uh, we have a Patreon. So if you'd like to support your favorite outdoor channel and also, you know, be entered for uh, monthly raffles for awesome gear we test and get a say in what kind of stuff we test in the future, uh, check that out because uh, paid memberships get all that and more. Make sure to ring that bell and hit subscribe and all of that stuff so you stay updated on what we've got going on. Watch some other of these videos while you're at it. You know, like gear reviews and backpacks and all kinds of stuff. And then uh, grab a pack and hit the trail. Like, wander on already.